friend. Namaste. My name is Ashish Bahukna and I'm from Yoga. So today we will do some postures which will helpful for opening your hip joints. As we all know, if our hip is very tight, it's very hard to perform some standing postures and it's also even hard to balance. So let's try some postures today which will really useful to opening our pelvic area, opening our hip joints and also improve the flexibility because if our hips is flexible, uh, it's very easy to use your leg strength because your hips, flexible hips allows you to use the strength of your leg muscles. If it's very, very tight, it's very hard to use the leg strength because that you don't have that much mobility, you don't have that much flexibility. Okay, so let's start today uh, some posture which will help to improve your hip flexibility. Okay, so first of all, we will do just take one leg distance. We'll start with some uh, very posture which you are very familiar and then gradually, gradually we will go a little bit advanced posture. So turning your right foot out, left foot in, both knees straight, hands one line, inhale and exhale, we're just going to warrior two, warrior two and stretch your inner thigh muscles, keep your core tight, keep your hips tight and both arms one line and just breathe. Breathe, long arms, if, you, if your body allows you, if your hips allows you, you can bend more, bend more, bend more, but don't put all weight on your front leg, keep your back leg very active and strong, and just breathe here, just work more on your groins, more on your pelvic rhythm, and just breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one, right knee straight, right foot turn in, left foot turn out, inhale, and exhale, again bend your knee, take your left hip down as low as you can, and breathe, core tight, breathe, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, knee straight, Foot turning and hands down. All right. Now we you, we will use yoga block and uh, we will try. To, just now we have done the posture. Uh, it's a very simple pose. Now we just modified it and using with the block. So bring your right foot on the block, left foot back. Take one leg distance properly. So make sure you are using the block over the mat. If you're just using on the floor, it's very easy the block can slip and you may disbalance and maybe fall down so keep the block under your right foot and you are bending the knee breathe go tight if you do not have a block no worries you can use something in your home which you can give some height to your right foot so you can go more deep stretch breathe here breathe here back leg straight engage your all muscles and opening more your pelvic rhythm turn nine eight seven six five four three two and one right knee straight release it change the other side left side use the block right foot back toes in hips core tight bend your knee more breathe arm straight breathe so so take your left hip as low as you can, but keep your right knee straight and right leg straight and just breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And slowly come back, knee straight and release it. When you have, when you have good flexibility of your hip joints, you can use your leg muscles very easily. That will make your leg muscles more and more long. Your legs muscles looks long, and legs looks long. Now we go for another pose. Another pose is called double warrior. Open the legs. You can take one leg distance, a little bit more or less. Totally depend on your flexibility. Right foot turn out. Left foot turn out. Core tight. Bend your knees, hips down, and just stay here. Double warrior. 
Even you can arm straight, you can palms together anywhere, even you can stretch out. Whatever way, it's okay for you. So lower your hips more, keep it tight, keep it tight. Just breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly knees straight. Relax for a while. Normalize breathing. We do second time. Palms together again. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your hips, and breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Leg straight. Release it. Good. Now, what we do, we bring our foot a little bit closer for Malasana. And this down. Bring this down. Good. Core tight. Tight. Glutes. Back straight. And just breathe. Or even if you take support. No worries. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly come up, legs straight, counter movement, take few breaths. Then again, inhale, exhale, turn foot out, and you bend your knees. So you have to turn in, when you bend your knees, your knees going to the outside so you can stretch your inner muscles more and this inner muscle become longer because if the hip is very tight it's very easily our inner muscle very short outer muscle very long so we're working more on inner muscles break down careful just hold it core tight hips tight and just break 10 9 8 11 Six, five, four, three, two, one. So your hip goes down, okay? Don't do like this, don't hips up. If your hips up, maybe you don't much, you don't have that much effect in your inner legs or in your hip muscles. All right, then we go for our next pose. So you can use the block, take your right foot on the block, left leg as back as you can, like this, as back as you can, bend your elbow. If you do not have a block, no worries, you can make your right foot flat. So block is just increasing your flexibility limits to let the posture a little bit more advance. Okay? Breathe as back as you can. You can even use the blanket under your left knee and hold here and breathe. Normal breathing. Ten. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release it. We change another leg. Left foot front. Right foot back. As back as you can. Break. On the floor. Hip tight. And break. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it. Good. We will repeat one more time. That is the block. Right foot front, left foot back. So take your left foot as back as you can. Okay. Left knee straight. Just break and hold. This time. We keep our knees straight and we go for this side a little bit more. Go to outside and just breathe here. Or you can bend elbow or you can take support, no problem. Just breathe, breathe. Keep your hips tight, tight, go tight, breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and come back. Good. Change the other side. So make sure you are not putting all weight on your front leg. So you have to shift your body weight evenly over both legs. Equally over both legs. All right. Left foot front. Right foot back. Breathe. Good. 
Good, first, careful, and just hips tight, core tight, break, you can roll as you break, and just break, and hold, tight, tight, engaged, and just break. You can even pound your elbow if you want, or you can just turn, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, then slowly come back. Good. Next we try. Just now we did a lot of partial bending knees. Next we will try counter movement, extension of the knee. So we just open the legs as much as you can. As much as you can. Break, spray, break. Be careful. Hold it here. Just keep your hips tight. Go tight and just break. Then keep your knees straight. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly come back. Good. From here, bend your knees, take a few breaths, or you can do child pose. Five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly come up. Now open the knees like this, open the knees, just like this. Then you can, this is called frog pose. Just be going here and break. Go right and just stay. Break, yeah. Knee more apart, breathe and break. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great. You can rest for a while, relax for a while, good, then come up for a second time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and slowly come back, good, rest for a while, take a few breaths, breathe, After that, we come back, going to another pose, both legs straight like this, just open the legs, maximum open, as much as you can, straight your knees, but do not overstretch, okay, just allow, just see how much your body allowing you, you have to learn to listen to your body, our body is more intelligent than us, if something not going well, body will give, some, body will give you some signals, and you have to listen that, you have to feel that. Legs straight, open the legs, break. Keep pressing, back of the leg, press down strongly, and just stay first for a breath, or even you can take your hands back, palm press down, and just break. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Open the legs. Go forward, bend, bend and bend. Have down exhale. Break. If you can, you cannot breathe. Just stay here and breathe. Or you can open arms more and breathe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, four. Three, two, and one, and slowly come back. Good. If you feel muscles, little pain or discomfort, just immediately come back. All right. Now we just slowly bend the knees like this. Bend. Thighs roll out. Knees goes down. Keep your back straight. Just break. Good. Now we're going bending forward and down. And down and down and down. Exhale. Take a few breaths. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And slowly come back. 
All right, now from here, you just close knees together like this, and we're going to the right side, lie down on the right side. This posture is called Anandasana. Hold it, elbow back like this, break, and just properly so that you won't fall down. Elbow press, arm press down, straight legs, together legs, left leg high, right edge of the foot press down, catch your left leg tilt, left leg straight, and break, hold here, straight, yeah, or even you can take support, 10, keep your both legs straight, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. And slowly down. Take a few breaths. Go one more time. Legs up. Catch your toes. Three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just down. Exhale. Good, then we turn to the other side. First, adjust your body, elbow band, legs together, go tight, leg high, catch your big toes, and breathe. You can take support, whatever way is okay for you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, no, and then down, exhale. Again, come up. High, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, no, and one, then exhale down. Good. Now from here, just turn back, lie down on the back. Take a few breaths. Then turn your body to the right side and just come up. So, friends, this was the practice about working more on your hip joints, opening your pelvic reason. This practice is very good for beginners or if you want to take your practice into next level because really it's if your hip is very tight, pelvic reason very hard, tight, it's very hard to perform many posture and a lot of people get injured in yoga practice just because of this because they don't have good flexibility in their hip joint they don't have good flexibility in your in their pelvic region so what they do they always use their joints more they put, put more load on their knees more load on the ankle or lower back so it's very important to practice like pelvic reason hip joints open practice very important in yoga practice of course, there are a lot of posture will also help you, but if you organize your sequence, just, okay, today I'm going to work only on my hip open practice, that will is more effective. Or let's say, okay, today I'm going to practice more on my shoulder open practice, that will be more effective in your practice. Because a lot of people, they're practicing, they don't know what part they are weak, what part they are strong, so they're just following, that is not the way. You always like more exploration, you always like more experience, you always like more about see what you want, what your body want from you. You have to provide it that way. I hope you like our video. Keep following us in We Yoga Beijing, We Yoga Tbilisi and sub sub subscribe us in our YouTube channel. Thank you. Namaste.